So in the previous lesson, we saved an RQL search query. And now that that's been saved, I can build a rule based on that query. I can start under the Secure tab, Policies, add a new policy. Let's give the policy a name. I can provide a description. I need to set the severity. When I go to Next, instead of doing a new RQL expression, I can select from Saved Search. And then here's all the searches that have been saved up until now. At the very top of the list is the query I saved in the previous lesson. I'm going to go ahead and select that. There's the RQL expression, gets automatically populated. I can then click Next. I can choose from compliance standards if I so choose. I'll go ahead and click Next. I can choose from remediation and enter the commands for remediation as we discussed earlier here as well. But just to demonstrate the concept that I can create a policy from a saved search, we'll keep it simple for now and we'll just click on Save. Policy saved successfully, and I've defined a new policy within my Redlock environment. And now that I've configured the new policy, I can incorporate this into an alert rule. So I can click Alert Rules here. I can click on plus Add New. I can give the alert rule a name. Then click on Next. I need to assign my account groups. Click on Next. And I want to find the policy, so I'll use the filter box. I'll check the check mark there. Click Next. Set up a notification channel. I'll use email in our example. And then click on Save. I now have created a new policy using a new RQL search criteria and saved that and incorporated that new policy into a new alert rule.